Hello everybody, welcome to Homemakers. Tonight's craft is going to be a quick one, so I'll go over what you have in your kit. You should have two cards and two envelopes, as well as these two clear stickers. You should have some glue. Yours might look a little different, but there's my glue. Um, and you should have a package of dried pressed flowers. So this is pretty easy craft. Um, oh, you should also have a toothpick. There's my toothpick. All right. So you're going to grab one of your cards and fold it in half. Now these stickers are pretty big, so they're not going to fit this way. You have to do them that way on the card. Um, but what we're going to do first is figure out how we want our flowers arranged. So it might be handy to have some scissors in case you decide some of these are too long and you want to cut them up. I have a lot of pink and white flowers. And I've also got some random little pieces here that I can use as a stem, so I might do that. Alright, so once you decide how it looks or come up with a kind of a scheme that you like, just make sure that it's actually going to fit inside. Whatever you have here, because there are all sorts of different shapes, so some of them are smaller. Um, so mine are going to need to be in here. And I don't have a pencil, but if you do, you can... So if you have a pencil, you can erase later. I'm just making little marks with these so I know where I can glue. So I like all of those. I'm going to put a little bit of glue inside on this paper plate, so if you've got a something similar to put some glue on. And we don't need very much glue. So when you're gluing your flowers on, you're going to use your toothpick and just apply glue to the back of whatever you are going to be adding to your card. And this is a pretty big leaf, so I'm just putting it on different sections so that I make sure they all stay down. Cut this because I think it was a little long. So I didn't put too much glue, but there's still a couple areas where it's kind of peeking out. But this glue, the glue that you have as well, dries clear. Now when you're doing the flowers, these are pretty thick, so I don't think it's going to matter too much how much glue I put on them, but when you have flowers like, oh, this one, where they're just, they have a single leaf thickness, the glue will sometimes show up on the front. I mean, it dries clear, but it leaves a little bit of a shadow. So when I'm gluing that, I will show you where to put the glue. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But these are I can tell they were fluffier little flowers, so there's more than one layer, so I'm not too worried about how much glue I'm putting on this one. It 
Same for this one. It's a fluffy little one. As you're going just make sure your flowers are going to fit in there it's looking pretty good so I may not use as many flowers as I originally planned to So for this one, it's got a thicker center, so that's where I want to put all my glue. Like I was saying earlier, if you glue the back side of the petal, sometimes you'll see a shadow of the glue through the front. So I'm going to put my glue in the center. And same for this one, just on the back. And make sure you don't put so much in the center that when you press it down on the card, it squirts out and goes to where the petals are, because again, you'll see it. So I'm going to use this one just so you can see what to do with these. So this is a really thin flower. And I'm only going to put glue right in the middle. And a very tiny amount. I'm trying not to get it on the petals, which I just did. I'm going <laughs> to take some of it off. And if you have glue on your hands, be careful. Let's see, I put that one in a weird place. Might need more. here. All right, and I like how that looks. It looks like a little bouquet of flowers. So if you've got smudges on this, you can go ahead and wipe that off with a tissue or something. I've been messing around with these, trying to find the corner of where to peel them back. So I've already done that for you. So all you have to do is find a corner that looks kind of like it's been messed with. And for me, I can tell that that is right here. So you want to make sure that all of your glue is dry just because if you stick this on and you have a little bit of glue that's still wet, I can see that I have some right here where it's shiny. That'll stick to this and just make it look kind of smudgy. Um, however, I want to finish the video, so I'm going to go ahead and not follow my own advice, but you can go ahead and wait. The edges of this, actually the whole thing is sticky, so all right, I thought it was just the edges. So then you'll just center it and put it down. And just gently press out any big air bubbles. And if you've got a really thick bunch of flowers, it might be kind of hard to 
pressed down, but I think I got it. So there is your card. And so this sticker just protects it. You can give it to somebody, send, send it to somebody and not worry about the flowers coming off. And I think I'm going to put this one with the envelope that doesn't match because I just like how that contrasts. Um, so there you go. And you have two of these, so I hope you have fun with that. Um, we will be taking a programming break in August. We'll be back in September with a different craft. So hopefully you'll be able to join me then. I hope you had fun today and uh, have a good rest of the week.